Shout out to all my conscious writers out there. It's your boy Ian, aka the Renegade Writer, here today to present to you part number two in my handwriting analysis series. And today we're I'm going to give a brief overview why on why you need to start writing in the landscape direction. And of course, if you watched part one in the series, you've already learned why you need to start writing on blank pieces of paper rather than lined pieces of paper, unless you're doing something important like accounting, bookkeeping, or something of that nature. But I'm making two videos on this topic of writing landscape on a blank paper because I know how conditioned everybody is out there. People have the notebooks they like. They have the way that they like to do things, but they have never tried another way. And I can't tell you how much of a profound impact moving horizontal to landscape direction instead of the vertical direction can have on your writing. And just escape. Once again, this is something that you are escaping. We're going to talk about everything in terms of handwriting on the show, not just about letters, about margins, about what pens you are using, about what direction your lines slant. All these things are important indicators of your personality. And writing on in the cage vertically with the lines in a portrait direction is a sign of closed mindedness. It is, you are contained in a certain way. And once you, open up to this idea and start to explore it for everything. We're talking, I'm talking about your grocery list, the lists you make, things about you know, journaling exercises, things you write to your partner, anything that you can imagine, artistic stuff, artistic writing, doing it on a blank piece of paper in landscape mode will change how you approach each of those. And it will start to open you up more. The amount of lists and quality Content I get, especially when it comes to journaling now, like sporadic journaling is insane. I could never do that. I had so much trouble. I am a avid journaler, you know, multiple pages a day of, and just not even like journaling what happens. I mean, like journaling my thoughts and journaling stuff out and trying to just get things out on paper for years. I mean, a good four or five years, I did daily, daily journaling on line, these line legal pads. And it's a mess, man. I look back and writing within the lines, it just was too structured and I didn't get out. But the, these new, the new two pages, I do uh, two pages of blank pace, blank landscape writing I do is much more profound. And being able to even write, um, hold on everybody. Being able to write, for instance, this is my main notebook right now. It is horizontal, and uh, but there's some stuff in it. I have some mind maps right here. And it's a lot easier to do stuff like this on a blank piece of paper. You've probably already done this. When you actually have to plan something out, you don't reach for the normal notebook because it feels wrong. You reach for the blank piece of paper. So everybody, this is just a quick reminder to write on, just to try, on a blank piece of paper landscape. I'm, I will never go over this again, but this is just an important thing. If you guys have any questions or comments or about your experience or how to do this, how to implement this, why to do this, let me know. Subscribe everybody. You guys know that I am always a friend here to talk to you about books, about writing, about handwriting analysis, whatever you guys want. This series is just getting started. This is just the meat and potatoes before we get to the juicy dessert. So, I will see you guys later. Peace.